Welcome to the 17th annual and second virtual Graduate Research Symposium Award Ceremony, and thanks for spending part of your Friday afternoon with us. I'm Quentin Williams, Interim Vice Provost and Dean of the Division of Graduate Studies, and we're the division that hosts this symposium. So this spring quarter marks the second spring that we've continued to operate under COVID restrictions, and last spring we had grad student presenters that held private Zoom meetings with their judges, and we uploaded just the meeting recordings of the winning presentations to the grad division's YouTube channel. And of course, prior to the pandemic, we hosted the symposium in McHenry Library, where visitors could browse the large posters, attend short talks, and inter interact with alternative media presentations, as well as have refreshments, which are, of course, missing from this um, virtual experience. This year, to increase the public access to some really wonderful presentations, we asked the graduate student participants to video record their presentations, and we've uploaded all of the videos of all the participants to our YouTube channel. So to view them, you can visit youtube.com and search for UCSC Graduate Division, or you can just link to our Grad Division website and click on the banner that is links directly to the, um, to the videos. It's really important to note that participation in this symposium represents a really major additional commitment for our graduate students on top of their classes, teaching, research, writing, and professional and career development. And the symposium is designed to require that participants really hone their presentation skills. And this year is no exceptions, really superb presentations. But the format of video recording the presentation also requires a degree of, sort of we'll call it technical acumen. And for that reason, judges were instructed not to judge qualities of sound and video, like things like focus and things like that, and the setting. And so we ask that you bear this in mind when you watch the self-made videos on our YouTube channel. What is key? is the presentation and the presenter's delivery of it. Our winners really represent the best in their academic divisions and overall in giving their presentations, distilling their research and other graduate work into a few minutes of explaining their work to a non-expert audience and engaging your interest in that work here at UCSC. I hope that your interest will be piqued and that you'll explore further what's happening at the graduate level in the, uh, in the research domain here at UCSC. This year, I welcome Chancellor Cynthia Larive to the Symposium Award Ceremony to share her thoughts on the graduate student endeavor and research at UCSC. Welcome, Chancellor Larive. Oh, well, thank you, Quentin, and welcome everybody to the annual Graduate Research Symposium. This is a celebration of outstanding graduate research across the disciplines. UC Santa Cruz has three dozen PhD and over 50 master's programs spread across the five academic divisions and all told nearly 2000 graduate students. The symposium is a terrific opportunity for students to showcase their work and to see what others are doing. I would especially like to thank all those involved in putting on this event, an annual highlight for the graduate division that like many campus events got much more difficult to pull off during the pandemic. You have done a great job and your efforts are deeply appreciated. I'd also like to uh, recognize the graduate presenters themselves. I know that putting together a presentation about your research that's understandable to a general audience is not an easy task. And by doing it in Zoom in a pandemic is over and above what has been expected in the past. Thanks so much to all our presenters. I know that the audience is excited uh, to watch the videos and learn about your work. Finally, a special thanks to the nearly two dozen alumni, faculty, staff, postdocs, and others who served as judges this year. Your involvement provides students with a fantastic networking and mentorship possibilities. And thanks so much for giving back and helping our students. Uh, the array of research um, presented in these videos is just dazzling. From Hawksville sea turtles to anti-racist pedagogy to black hole winds, it speaks to the breadth of innovative, high impact research being done at UCSC. Graduate education is a defining aspect of the UC mission. Graduate students play an integral role in our system-wide commitment to exploration, innovation, and discovery. Their research fuels the imagination. It yields scientific breakthroughs and advances social justice. In short, it enriches all of our lives. As you know, our campus received the great honor at the start of the last academic year with election to the Association of American Universities. 
is something that our campus has aspired to since our early days. Membership is limited to lead institutions at the forefront of high impact research, world recognized and often cited faculty and educational excellence. Along with UC Irvine, UC Santa Cruz is the youngest university to ever gain admittance to the AAU. This honor underscores our standing as a premier research university, furthering education, advancing knowledge and contributing to American society and the world beyond. I'd like to just say a few words about the man who introduced me today, Quentin Williams. I'm very grateful to Quentin for his service as, as a grad dean since July 2019. He agreed to remain as interim dean until a permanent place replacement is in place, and I hope that that might be uh, this summer. When Quentin took on the role, I'm certain he did not anticipate a global pandemic, a wildfire, budget cuts, and a myriad of other challenges and I'm deeply appreciative of his efforts and grateful for his leadership. Finally, I'd like to congratulate all the presenters. I'm eager to see who wins. And I know that the hard work that went into your presentations, it will be obvious. I'll pass it now uh, back to Quentin to start announcing the winners. Thanks, Cindy. We have just one little thing to do, which is to, uh, before we got, do the drum roll for the winners, which is to thank just a few more people who made this symposium possible. First off, we'd like to thank the academic divisions, which are the arts, the Baskin School of Engineering, humanities, physical and biological sciences, and the social sciences for sponsoring the $250 prizes for the best of division winners. We'd like to thank John Radeke, the video videographer with ITS Learning Technologies, who edited the videos and added introductory and closing screens to them. We'd like to thank other, another very important aspect of this, which is Anna Scher, the Assistant Director for Assessment and Survey Research in the Office of Institutional Research for providing the judging rubric and the online scoring platform for judges. So thanks to Priscilla Sung in the same office for assisting Anna with evaluating the judges scores that determined our winners. And I'd like to echo uh, Cindy's Thanks to our volunteer judges who represent faculty, staff, postdoctoral scholars, UCSC Foundation trustees, and grad school, grad student alumni. And most of all, really, I'd like to also echo her thanks to this year's grad student participants who gamely video recorded their presentations under varying conditions of environmental and technical accessibility. For the winners of best presentation in each academic division, who of course receive $250 each. And those are from the arts division. Marilia Kazar in film and digital media with the presentation, effing with the virtual, Siri, Alexa, Lana, and Desire. Congratulations, Marilia. From the Baskin School of Engineering, Ryan Johnson in electrical and computer engineering with the presentation, parameter estimation for hybrid dynamical systems. Okay, from the humanities division, Gabriel Mendel in History of Consciousness with the presentation, The Invisible Monument to Free Speech or The Problem with Property. From the Physical and Biological Sciences Division, Lourdes Martinez Estevez in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology with the presentation, Spatial Ecology of Hawksbill Sea Turtles in the Gulf of California. And for our fifth division from the Social Sciences Division, Catherine Quinteros in psychology with the presentation, Building Belonging Through Researcher Practici Practitioner Collaboration, a winner for the best overall presentation. And I just have to note that, as an er that since my, I am a faculty member in earth and planetary science and I had nothing to do with the scoring, absolutely nothing. Our grand prize winner of $1,000 goes to Colleen Murphy representing the physical and biological sciences division and the Earth and Planetary Sciences graduate program with the presentation, Sluggish Slides, Why Some Landslides Never Pick Up the Pace. Congratulations to our winners, to everyone in the, our audience. Don't forget to check out our winners and all of this year's symposium videos because there were some excellent, excellent presentations which did not uh, make the final cut, unfortunately, here. But that's part of the, uh, part of the agony of decision-making. So check out our symposium videos at UCSC Graduate Division on YouTube. 
And thank you so much for attending the 17th annual UC Santa Cruz Graduate Research Symposium Award Ceremony. This concludes our event and thanks again to everybody involved in this.